Yo, yo, this is Ori Reacts, and we're going to hop straight into this. And this is all about the question that was asked in a group. And it had to do with the fact of, does anyone have any motivational stories about their life and how their life has changed after the age of 25? Where did this question even come from in the first place? So let's start there. Um, to kind of explain with more details, approaching his 21st birthday he's freshly graduated you know he finds himself without a girl's girlfriend I'm guessing this is a guy he's not gay uh he's without a clear sense of direction he's comparing himself to his peers who are already engaged fulfilling jobs and competently planning their futures he feels lost and you know the pressure is mounting you know leading to him contemplating life decisions and choices, whether he really truly loves himself. He's considering returning to school. He's looking for a lot of answers. Uh, it's a lot of steps that simply just don't make sense to him. He's trying to understand where to go, what what's direction in life. And so he posted a question trying to, you know, hear from other people. And I wanted to bring this up today because I think that we put ourselves on like this this scale of time the scale of time and it says oh you know we have to get it done by this age and i don't think most people become millionaires by 21 years old i don't think most people become millionaires by 18 years old i think that some of the most successful people i know of didn't figure it out until their 30s I think that sometimes when we put ourselves on the scales and try to compare ourselves to everyone else, it can be very disappointing. Everyone has different roles in life and they move at different rates and speeds. But there was this individual that responded to his, you know, plea for motivation or his request for motivation and just hearing a story. Because I think when we when we share stories with each other, it offers this opportunity to give us insight and show us where we are in life. Because sometimes when it's so closed in within our own world and it's our own thoughts, it can become very foggy and very hard to see clarity. So what this individual responded back was really cool. And I wanted to share this because I think this is motivational for anyone in any career path at any place and point in life to hear what this individual was saying. And he goes, I'm going to read for word for word. I kind of rewrote it. In retrospect, at the age of 45... I reflect on the toughest period, which spanned from 25 to 30, echoing the challenges you highlighted. During this time, there was an immense societal, family, and self-imposed pressure to have life meticulously planned, including a solid career and a stable relationship. The truth is, the journey to self-discovery and finding one's path varies in duration. And that's kind of, you know, some of what I was sharing as well, too. Everyone's path is going to be different, and you probably want to avoid trying to compare yours to another if you are truly moving forward and stepping forward and trying to elevate yourself every single day in your craft and what you do you will elevate right but don't always compare the rate at which you move to someone else it said he said um it took me three distinct college degrees and 15 years to discern my true calling the jobs I was passionate about didn't provide sufficient income, while those that paid the bills were emotionally draining or downright soul crushing. I found myself feeling trapped, living paycheck to paycheck, constantly stressed and grappling with a sense of failure and frustration about my life's trajectory. I could feel that. I could feel that in so many ways, living, you know, paycheck to paycheck. I didn't come for money. So. I can definitely understand that. And I think it really helps to send this message and, and send that to this 25 year old individual who is also lost at the point in his life because he needs to hear this. He has to hear that life in, is not easy. And also the dollar is not stretching as far. Money is not stretching as far, but the cost to live is only going up. Life is not simple. You can come out now with three internships under your belt and not be able to get a job because everyone's doing internships now, right? You can come out now, you don't even have a job lined up because for as many people are as graduating, there aren't as many jobs to receive the people that graduate, right? 
It further goes on. He says, at the age of 38, I initiated a blog and a YouTube channel with no grand expectations. Surprisingly, my content gained traction. I hit my professional peak at 40, achieving financial freedom and the possibility of, comf of comfortable retirement at 42. The pivotal lesson from this unpredictable journey is to identify something you love and then forge a connection between your passion and the broader world. I just love so much about what's going on there. Didn't Morgan Freeman, I, I don't think I've ever seen Morgan Freeman young. I think he what, took off after 45, 48. Samuel L. Jackson, the same thing. I've never seen the young picture of Samuel L. Jackson. I've always seen him as an older individual. Oprah Winfrey, that was after 25. You know, where where we get this, where are we getting in this idea that by like 21, 22, 23, we're supposed to have life figured out. It's a lot of, a lot of us in our 20s and 30s trying to get things together. And then as you get older, you realize that, wow, when you when you're like young and you're a child, you think that the 21 year old probably understands life. And then when you're the 18, 14 year old individual, you probably think that the 30 year old has all of life together. And then you realize as you get older that we're all just trying to figure this thing out. We're all trying to put the pieces together, trying to figure out where we gain ground, what makes sense. And to end this response of this older individual responding to this 25 year old, you know, he says, release the burden of unrealistic expectations. Dedicate a year to exploring your likes and dislikes, trying new endeavors and embracing failure as part of the growth process. Regardless of life's twists and turns, commit to extracting valuable lessons from each experience. And I think that's such an important message that I hope that everyone really hones in and applies to their own life. It doesn't matter what age you are. This individual, he said, comfortable retirement at the age of 42. So he's at least 42, if not older, right? He didn't achieve financial freedom until 40 years old, was still struggling into his 30s. OK. Don't allow your current position in life to dictate what you're going to be for the rest of your life. Now, if you're not happy, obviously, we have to make the changes and we have to seriously take the steps to change. But you have to continue working and putting that effort in. Release the burden of unrealistic expectations. I think that especially with societal pressures, with expectations, with social media being around, you see people that are wildly successful at the age of 15. Sometimes it deters reality. See, the truth of the matter is those individuals that you are seeing are outliers. They're not the norm. Most people, it's still said, especially like in the U.S., the, what is the average salary is around $30,000, dollars $30, right? These wild beliefs of success sometimes can really impact your emotional state and shake your stability, right? You're going to go through failure. Accept that. But you have to learn as you go through failure. See, I'm a music artist and producer going through failure all the time. I have to work through this. You know, there are moments I'm like, oh, boy, I'm in my 20s, too. I'm like, oh, boy, I see other people with kids and families, five kids. I don't, you know, ain't doing no kids right now. But, you know, I'm like, OK, I, I don't compare myself to that. I'm heading a different way. I'm going to keep the faith, keep working, keep elevating. So thank you to that elder individual for sharing that story but also to the 25 year old for coming forward and saying you know what I feel lost I feel like I don't know where to go coming out of college I've basically got nothing lined up because it takes strength to even admit that to someone else you know what I'm saying and to that individual I say bro you keep going man you go through those failures you pick your head up and you never stop you never quit so or reacts Hopefully you guys enjoyed that drop where you're at in your life.